All right, we're live from the NAB 2022 when we're here with Christopher from DPA. Tell us what's going on, man. Well, uh, other than being at a trade show for the first time in, <laughs> in a long time, <laughs> trying to wrap my head around that, um, we're showing off, uh, we're pretty, mu pretty, pretty much promoting our durability of our microphones. Okay. So um, I think a lot of people uh, associate DPA high end, great sound quality, uh, but they're not fragile. And I think a lot of people kind of associate, hey, we're paying a lot for this. I don't want to put it in an environment where it might get damaged. Totally. Course, you're paying a lot yeah. of money for it, you don't want it to get damaged. Understandable. Um, what we're trying to show people with this cool little setup um, with, a, with our favorite Lego characters, by the way, um, is that you know these things are IP58 rated, all of our miniatures are, all of our core microphones now are all IP58 rated, uh, which is the best uh, waterproof rating on the market for any microphone, any, any miniature type of microphone like this that's not made to be an underwater microphone. Right. Um, so they're made to be submerged. Uh, I mean, they handle, handle extreme temperatures. I mean, negative 40 to 113 is technically what's in the spec or in the specification. Uh, we have mics on Antarctica. We have mics in the desert. We have mics now underwater. Um, <laughs> and on the, Mars. And on, and on <laughs> Mars. And that's kind of how this, this evolved. I mean, you know, our, and it's a standard microphone that was, that was sent to Mars. It's our 4006 capsule, 4006 capsule on one of our preamps here. It was an off-the-shelf product. We didn't modify it at all. They just basically made it, uh, attached it to a mount, stuck it on the side of the rover. There's no enclosure. It is out in the elements all the time, and it's still working. So this thing survived atmospheric pressure from landing on Mars. Correct. Completely exposed. Exactly. It's still sending us back audio signals. Um, and again, it, off the shelf products. We didn't do anything special for NASA. It, they, they picked out the capsule. They're using an MMA two channel um, uh, A to D converter and preamp, which is inside of the rover. So this is actually this Protection. is actually not exposed. Uh, but the, the capsule sitting on the outside is, is out in the elements and it's working great. And we wanted people to realize that, yeah, it's a different capsule. It's a larger capsule, but the same quality and the same durability goes into the small ones that, that you know, all the location sound mixers use on a daily basis, whether it's a reality show, whether it's episodic, whatever it might be, that you can put them on somebody and expect them to take a beating and they're going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Right. Yeah, that's just yeah. a really good confidence factor to have kind of in your back pocket knowing that the microphones are going to be durable for essentially whatever you throw at them and knowing that from a temperature standpoint, that probably isn't totally correct, but <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's tested. Though. Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, of course, the Mars temperatures are, are, you know, way off the chart compared to what these uh, specifications show. But, you know, even on, on some of the miniature stuff that some people might consider, hey, these are disposable. We know they're going to take a beating. We know they're going to get broken. We're going to have to toss them and get new ones. I mean, there's two-year warranties on these, and you know, Kevlar cabling now IP58 rated for for waterproof. They're made to take a beating. We don't really want you to have to throw them away necessarily and get. Absolutely. Although we love when people buy microphones, <laughs> they're, they're supposed to last. It's an investment, and and they're supposed to last, and that's the whole that's the whole point. Absolutely. Yep. So then here we have a Boba Fett <laughs> on a 6060. Looks, yeah, to be. exactly. He's holding the little 6060. Which is the perfect size for a Lego's hand. So, I, you know, we're Danish. Legos are Danish. I don't know if that was planned or not, mm. but it works. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Imperial yeah. system metric. <laughs> we'll just call it that. Exactly. And then uh, <laughs> here we are in the sand. So if we wanted to clean this lavalier uh, post this experiment, yep. what, what's our what's our go-to to do such? We just stick it in distilled water. Okay. I mean, that's how no, we clean Not a saline them. solution or anything? No, just, no, just distilled water. water. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the uh, I mean, the caps are on these are removable. Um, but you know, they don't, caps don't have to be removed, of course. We stick them in distilled water, shake them out, let them dry for a little bit. As we say the same thing for sanitizing. I mean, if you're worried about sanitization between uses, just use just some distilled water, let them dry out. Whatever germs are on there, of course, are going to die over a certain amount of period, a certain amount of time, uh, and it's going to be fine. And that's, that's, I mean, again, these things are made to be dunked like this. So, so you know, being able to, being afraid to wash them off, you don't have to be afraid. That's how we do them at, in our shop. That's how they, they clean them. They put them in distilled water. Yep. So is there uh, anything else that uh, on the horizon maybe that uh Well, we can there's look a lot of expect? stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff on the horizon for the rest of this year, which is good. Um, so we, we took the time during the pandemic uh, to uh, ramp up the factory, ramp up production, ramp up R&D. We've added a lot of people in Denmark, which is where the headquarters are. Uh, and we're going to see um, a handful of new products, significant new products drop 
this year, which is good. Okay. Not so just a new clip or a new accessory, but okay. an actual new product. And then this product. is um, potential delivery by the by Q4? Yep, absolutely, yeah. So yep. things tangible so in our hands. For us with DPA, when we uh, when a product, what we call goes above the line or when it, when it gets announced, it's ready to ship. It's in stock. Okay, So Excellent. if we announce something on September 1st, it ships September 1st. Yeah. Excellent. And Excellent. if it's not ready to ship, we don't announce it, period. Um, so we want people to be able to go, oh, this is great, let me get an order for it, and we want to be able to ship it, yeah. So uh, there will be a l quite a few things coming. Okay, well, cool. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And uh, since we are live, we want to, you know, have any questions, make sure that we put that in the chat. So um, if there's anything that you guys uh, would like to ask uh, from DPA, let's, uh, let's hear that. Uh, do we have any questions, Joey? No questions at this time. Yeah, we said it all. Okay, well, I mean, the durability is there, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, if there's nothing else more to touch on, then I think uh, that, that could wrap it up. Oh, we appreciate it, Chris. Great. Thanks, man. Thanks, TK. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely, man. Take care. We'll see you guys soon. See Thanks. You.